this is a model of aline molecule. There are three carbon atoms and four hydrogen atoms. C3H4. So we look at this molecule. Three carbon atoms and two hydrogen atoms on the same plane. However, there are another two hydrogen atoms are not on the same plane. Alright, so now we are going to find out the symmetry elements operation for this molecule. The first is rotation axis. So, I found that this molecule has C2 axis. So, the axis is here passing through the all carbon atoms. Alright, so now we are going to rotate 180 degree through this C2 axis. So, we rotate 180 degree. We get the same configuration. Rotate again. We get the same configuration as well. Alright. This molecule also has another C2 axis which is passing through the carbon in the middle, carbon number 2. So the axis passing through here. So now I'm going to show the rotation for this molecule. So we look from this view. Alright. So two hydrogen atoms at the top will go down there and another two hydrogen atoms at the bottom will go up here. So rotate 180 degree through this C2 axis. So we start rotate now. We get the same configuration. We rotate again. We get the same configuration. Actually, there are two C2 axis passing through this carbon. One here and this is another C2 axis. And the last one here. So for this molecule, there are three C2 axis. Alright, so the next we want to find out the plane. So there are two planes for this molecule. The first one cutting through here. Until here. So we can see that these two hydrogen atoms reflect through this plane. We will get the same configuration. And for the second plane is here, cutting through here. Until here. So what we can see that there are two hydrogen atoms at the top and bottom here reflect through this plane we will get the same configuration. And then we try to look from this view. So we can see that there are two C2 axis perpendicular with this another one C2 axis. So point group for this molecule should be dihedral point group. So because only C2 axis, C2 here and this another C2 axis here, so the main axis for this molecule is C2 axis. So the point group is D to D. And then we want to find out the S4 for this molecule. So we need to find the C4 axis first. To rotate the molecule 90 degree. So from this view, we can see very clear. Alright. So I'm going to change like this. 
So this is as C4 exists. Passing through here. So we are going to rotate 90 degree. It means that this hydrogen will be here 90 degree. And then we want to reflect the plane should be here perpendicular with the main, sorry, perpendicular with the C4 axis. So the hydrogen will be down here. So we will get the same configuration. So that's why this molecule has S for symmetric elements operation.